All right, what is up, everyone? Welcome back to Hardcore Heroes episode number 10. We are 10 episodes deep in the Hardcore Heroes video series in which we watch all of the top and also probably some of the worst hardcore classic WoW plays. Let's get into it. Ooh. Starting off, we have some Germans. They are pulling Tethys. He is red. He's level 43. They are a, they're a priest warrior duo hardcore combo. Oh, this is this is not smart. Oh no. Oh fuck, I'm dazed and slowed. Let me translate this for those of you that don't speak German. He said he just said, "Oh fuck, I'm dazed and now I'm slowed." My wife is German. I can understand some of this. Here we go. Thank you. You're welcome. He said, "This isn't good." Dazed me. Okay, you guys have done you guys have done no damage. You you are actually probably like the worst two classes to do this. If you had a hunter, maybe like hunters are good at killing upper level mobs, but you need to run. You guys need to leave. This is not good. Or give me a one if you think they'll kill it, give me a two if you think they won't. Okay. okay, big heal coming. He's got he's got to renew, he's got the hot sticking. We intercept back in. Oh, oh the, okay, the hamstring fell and now it's sitting on the priest. He's eating through that powered shield. Oh, this priest is about to get eaten alive. Though we got the fear off, we got the psychic screen off, scream off. Don't break it, don't break it. Oh my god. Okay, listen, there's a chance they do this. The mob is, I don't know, like 65% HP. The priest is less than half mana though. We need to keep the hamstring up 100%. If that hamstring drops, we're not looking good. Keep it up. Hamstring. Oh, got it. Okay. Pass auf hinter dir. Du läufst gleich in den Raptor rein. Okay. Come on. Sag einfach wann. Ich kann auch nur zwei. The priest is keeping dots up. They might. They might do this. Hamstring drauf machen. Jetzt hab Hamstring wieder drauf. I'm starting to feel. I'm starting to feel optimistic about this actually. Ich muss gerade wieder kriegen, weil ich habe gerade keinen Cooldown oder so ready, um irgendwie Wut zu regenerieren. We got the hamstring. The resist chance on every single one of those hamstrings is so high. It's very scary trying to keep that up. Uh oh, my priest, my priest friend. He's getting away. Okay. Oh, okay. Our warrior pulled threat. Hamstring, run. Hamstring, run. I mean, if he has threat, he doesn't care, really. He's just going to tank it. The priest will heal. He's going to hit really hard, though. A lot of crushing blows. Yeah, doch. 700 HP. Do you think they get cocky? Do they get overconfident right now and the warrior dies? In the, like in like the final 5%. No, I think I think they do it. I think they're going to do it. Come bisschen gut. Come ich hätte nichts. Ah, Raptor, 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 Raptor. Oh no. Ich muss noch einen oder so hitten. 200 HP, 200 HP left. You can do it. You can do it. Ja, ich wollte. You can do it. Ich brauche einen Hit mal. Wow, they actually did it, but it's like, why would you? That's so risky. Look, they're having re they took them so long. They're having respawns. There's a raptor that respawned right underneath the chat, and there's a raptor over here. These mobs are respawning on top of them. This could have gone wrong so easily. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Oh, uh, that's a very that's a very unlucky what just happened right there. Uh, yeah, that's not good at all, what just happened. Target dummy, you need to run. Okay, he bops himself. And he pretty much has no mana and no HP. That's just a bad, that's bad. Bad, bad, bad. Not, not fun. I'm gonna be honest, man. If you're a hardcore player, probably just stay out of Southwind Ruins. This place down in Eastern Silithus, we've seen, we've seen a lot. This is probably like a top, I don't know, I don't know. But we've, se we've seen a lot of hardcore players die here. Here. So, yeah, Silithus in its entirety. Just don't even go to Silithus. 
Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, are they gonna leash off? He's praying. Dude, they leashed off and the po the final tick of the poison. 85 damage. Level 59. He's over. Okay. He's pretty much over half. Like, yes, he he's, he's, he's like halfway to 60. Oh, man. Dude, I don't know what it is. Like, you're, you make it so close. You're, you're overconfident. I don't know. Oh, that was, that was, uh, I mean, you had a nade still. So he's probably not nading, hoping, because he doesn't want to release them, right? Like, the nade is probably not worth it. Oh. Could, could he have cleansed this? So what's ticking him down? It's 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 the it's the ghost night elf druid's moonfire. It's not a poison. It's a magic. It's underneath the webcam. It's it's a magic effect. It has four. It's the final tick of the moonfire. It's a magic effect. He could have cleansed it. He could have. Yeah. Oh no. Oh man, dude. We're on a hunter, we're at the Highlands, and we are eagle, eagle eyeing around the zone. What are we looking for? Oh, we're looking for the rock guy. You know what's gonna happen? Do you know what's gonna happen right now? The elite alliance scout is going to patrol into him as he is eagle eyeing around the zone, and it's gonna, it's gonna destroy him. It's gonna destroy him. Oh boy, because he's on the road. You, I... Oh, he took damage. Somehow, he just took damage. Hmm. How? Hmm. Hmm, he's taking damage. Hmm. How? Yeah. They're elite. The War Stomp. The Swiftness Potion. Oh, you are a lucky boy. These mobs have a sprint. He pops a swiftness potion, and then the Stormguard Cavalryman is like, okay, I'm popping sprint. Oh my god. And now he's dazed again. Don't you have feign death? Doesn't he doesn't he have feign death? Chat, where's feign death? Oh no. Ooh, the concussive shot. You're going to pull the rock boys, though. Are you going to pull the rock boys? No. Top left. He's got feign death right there. Shift E. Okay, that's it right there. Oh, it's off cooldown. Yeah, he can use it. He can use it. He doesn't want to use it. I don't know. Is there is there some hardcore hunter challenge where you never use feign death? Maybe that's one of the hardcore add-on achievements where you never, you never do it or something. Yeah, yeah, I guess if so, then why bind it? I guess he's scared of a feign death resist. <laughs> he made it! And how did he make it? Probably, I don't know for sure. But he was probably chewing power gum because... Because power gum increases your performance to levels that you've never, never even thought possible. That's true. Okay, we're doing the Night Elf Warrior uh, challenge where we're using, like, Battle Cam. It's like Battle Cam Diablo uh, user interface. Here we go. Ooh, gotta go. Ocean man. So, so yeah, like this is one of the golden rules of the hardcore challenge. And even, even I still am absent-minded and I still do it sometimes. You never, never charge underwater. Never charge into water, underwater. Do not do that. It is so buggy. It is so buggy. Yeah, he has... He's going to Atlantis. He's got urgent news, and he, he needs to go talk to King Poseidon, ruler of Atlantis. He really is, uh, <laughs> he really is going there <laughs> in a hurry. Uh, he's got 35 seconds on the, on the breath timer. Where are we going? Do you think he's going to drown? How does this end? How does 23 seconds... Where where are we going? Where when does this end? Fifteen seconds. I th I think he's like gonna fall through the bottom of the world. Like that's what I'm waiting for. Any second he's gonna drop out the bottom of the world and he's just gonna die. 
I don't I don't even know which way is up and which way is down now. I have no idea. I don't know. I don't know where we're going. Uh, yeah, now you're gonna die. Yep, there it is. Yep. 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 He potted. We got the potion. And you're banned. And now you're banned. Uh, yeah, so takeaway. What's the takeaway again? Never charge in the water. Never charge underwater. It's bad. Not good. These mobs are brutal. In Maradon, these mobs are absolutely brutal. They do, it's it's the barb lasher. They do like a, it's like a, it's like a thorn spray knockdown thing. It's really, really bad. You're going to see it happen here, I guarantee you. You'll see the debuff pop up. Okay, so they're rooted. The the mini mobs root. None of these are dying. None of these are taking damage. There's a there's a warrior fear. There's the intimidating shout. I'm just making sure. Did they go pull more mobs? Did that fear? Oh no. Oh no. All right, chat. At this point, everything is everything is terrible. Uh, what do you do? How do you escape? What's the plan? At this point, I'm saying every man for himself. Like I could. I'm I'm on my own at this point. Okay, we need to get out of here. We need to leave. Maybe I'm gonna be wrong. Maybe I'll be wrong. They are trying to nuke down the barb lasher, which is the most deadly of all of them. Okay, yeah, that's the right play. Our priest is almost doomed. The priest healer here. Mm, resist. Our healer is almost doomed. Yeah, and has threat on two of them. So the Barb Lasher goes down. Now we just have a bunch of, of the little guys. Uh, as a Warlock, you can banish one of these. I don't think you can banish the big one, but you could banish any of the little Constrictor Vines, I'm pretty sure. <clears throat> banish is good. My mana is low. Oh, no. Okay, the Warlock is oom. Um. We have a Hunter and two Warriors that are going here, okay? You know, as long as they don't pull more, like, maybe they can do this. Maybe they can. Oh, no. Okay, so... Yeah, they came from this way. They have a lot of room to kite. They have an entire passage to kite here. There is a chance that they can pull this off. The priest is regenning mana as we go through this. We're dropping hunter traps. Oh, that... Okay, the, war, the warrior is out. He was triple rooted heal him these things are gonna have to die oh if these roots go out at the wrong time on the wrong person someone's gonna die someone will die if that if that lines up is it gonna be that warrior no we got to dispel on the roots the hunter are you gonna pull anything is your backpedaling here no okay they they did not skip that mob Keep that warrior alive. Okay, big heal. These roots are so infuriating. Infuriating. He's stuck in the roots. Oh. There they are. They are they are slowly getting kills here. They are. They are. They are. They are so smart for not skipping any of these mobs. If they had skipped a pack here or skipped the pack there, then that would have really complicated this. Yeah, he ha he has AoE fear now. We pop a fade. Uh, he pops a potion. He's completely oom um again. So we have Psychic Scream in the top right. It's underneath the webcam. He can scream if he needs. Dude, if they if they all if they all jump down together and full bandage and regen for like 10 seconds, they can come out of this. If they all jump together, bandage, regen, they're good. I think so. I think so. <clears throat> Dude, there there's only two of them alive. They did it. They actually salvaged this. So I guess I was wrong. I was looking to dip out. I was going to leave. 
they stuck it out. Wow, 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 wow. I would not have believed it. Dude, oh my god, we have seen... that. That's that's big for them. We have seen a lot of clips from this Lincoln guy. We have, and he's killing Garrosh the Dervish. Dude, are you... Are you going to get what I think you're going to get? Is he? He is. No oh! Way. Holy shit! No way, no way, no way! <gasps> wow. Fuck. On a hardcore warrior. We have seen Lincoln here die almost. Like, we, we have seen him almost die on, like, three occasions. And now he's got the SGC. All right. We have our hunter here, Giant Beast. He's just sending his pet into that camp of gnolls. He's multi-shot. He doesn't give a heck. I mean, he's like he's like level 20 or 21 because these mobs are green to him, right? So he's a little bit over-leveled. He's feeling confident. Yeah, just kill him. Yeah, yeah, just kill those. They're both they're both low. Uh you need to you need to just you need to just kill those. You need to just kill those. Uh you don't, you just you just need to you just need to kill those. Oh my god, dude. How, how There's a target dummy. Oh my god. Oh my god, he's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's going to get shot by that. 11 HP. He resisted it. Oh my god. You are so lucky. Aspect of the cheetah, and I'm gone. Dude, what what happened? What happened? It's like it's like his brain just kind of froze for four or five seconds. That can happen, okay? It happens. It's e it's easy to critique, but that happens in the heat of the moment. Anyway, he's so he's uh so lucky. He is so lucky. But when you're chewing power gum using promo code hardcore for 10% off, you don't need luck because you've got power gum and power gum always has your back. So there you go. True. Power gum, power gum. Eliza. What are we? We are we are like a level this I got I need to decipher the riddle of the user interface here. We're a druid. We're a feral druid trying to solo Eliza. Uh oh, and he summoned a guardian fell hunter. Okay, so he has a little pet from some item he used. So he came prepared, so he knows what's up. He came prepared. Eliza's going to summon her ghouls, her skeletons. You are frost novid, we bear shift out of it, we're bear form, we're bear form. Okay, so the plan here is to nuke down Eliza. We shift out, pop a potion, back in bear form. We're nuking down Eliza, and then we're going to worry about the guards afterwards. Ooh, it is a race against the clock right now, because we do not have a potion. And then, oh... And on the roof we go, safe spot. So this so, so this guy knows what he's doing, okay? This guy is a gamer. He he came with a plan. He's a man with a plan. There you go. And then they just reset off. And then they reset off. Genius. And, uh, we're, I mean, we're not going to see him die, are we? No. He could, yeah, I mean, he's just going to jump down and, and kill those, right? There's no reason not to. Yep, he makes it out. All right, we have I Am A Druid who is like a level 8 or level 9 druid here, killing Lord Melanus in the in the cave uh, just north of Dolinar in Teldrassil. So Melanus goes down, Melon ass. The problem is, is that you have two Grells auto-attacking you. You have a Rejuve ticking. Let's get a healing touch out. Does it? Do you make it out? Oh, we got the healing touch. Your heals do not do very much, and now you're about to pull a third one. You have three of them. You just got down to 2 HP. There's the rejuve. Nothing in the bags. There's the panic look. The rejuve is ticking. So in the in these 1 to 10 zones, you your your character player runs faster than almost every single mob. They're sort like the mobs are sort of easier. So I think maybe you make it out. They're not going to catch up to you. There's the healing touch. Okay, we are recovering. Yeah, there's another rejuve. We're just running. We are running. We, dude, bro, just go, go for it. Go for it. Just keep going. Do not stop. Do not stop. Do not. There's a. That's not a good days though. Not a good days. There's another rejuve. You know what? I think you make it out of this alive. I think you make it out. You made it out. 
Okay, here here we have we have a Shadow Priest who is going to try to kill Mizoth solo. The level 47 elite is Stranglethorn Veil solo. This is scary. What is the plan? <clears throat> what is the plan here? We're trying to wand. The wand never went off. Okay, we're bring, we're we're kiting them out of the cave here. Are we? Is is there is there a premeditated plan, or are we just kind of running now? Uh, we're just running. There is a psychic scream. There's a all of these ogres are elite, by the way. You are so dead. You are so dead. You are so... We popped... We pop a Light of a Loon. What you're seeing here is Light of a Loon. But that immunity is over. Oh my god. You know what? Oh... You are thunderclapped. They all reset. You are so lucky. We had to pop the Light of a Loon. You, every, so every Alliance character only has one of those. And what is it? 10 seconds of total immunity. It's like a 10 second bubble. You only have one of those. And so he popped it. That was a Man, listen. You don't, you don't need to go into the Elite Ogre Cave. I feel like you're just asking for trouble. You're asking for trouble if you go into the Elite Ogre Cave on a hardcore character. That was a good use of a Light of, a light of a Loon though, no doubt, because I feel like most people get the Light of a Loon and they're like, ah, I'm going to save it for the, for the perfect moment. And then they just die with it. Like flash forward a couple days, they're dead. They forgot about it. They never used it. That Light of a Loon kept him alive. It did keep him alive. He used it at an opportune time. But uh, yeah, probably probably shouldn't go in that cave. Pro probably. Anyway, guys, that is Hardcore Heroes episode number 10. We are 10 episodes deep in the Hardcore Heroes series. So thank you very much. If you enjoyed it, please drop a like and a comment and subscribe to the channel. You can also find a link to every single one of these streamers and YouTubers in the video description as well. As you can go show all of these guys some love. Go show all of these guys some, some support. Thank them for, for their hardcore service. Thank them for their hardcore service. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys very much. Take care and stay safe. Goodbye.